Tonight, we're hearing from alumni for the first time since Virginia Military Institute announced some major changes after calls for social justice. The Institute plans to remove a Confederate statue of Stonewall Jackson and work to improve diversity and inclusion on post. 10 News reporter Lindsay Kennett explains why the move is getting mixed reaction. It's just amazing. Virginia Military Institute is removing a symbol of its history, the Stonewall Jackson Monument on post, a weight off Caleb Tucker's shoulders. Crazy to actually be witnessing and um, this change is happening right in front of your eyes. Tucker started an online petition after he graduated from VMI in May, asking the school to remove the statue and address racism, something he experienced firsthand. I was called the N-word all throughout VMI. Senior cadet William Bunton says systemic racism at the school lives in symbols, just like the statue and the Confederate general's image on his class ring. We're going through society brainwashed that, that these things are normal. We're, this, is, this is normalized. This is normalized and, and it shouldn't be. Those on the other side of the issue say the monument carries a different meaning. It represents the heritage of, of VMI. Jeremy Sanders graduated from VMI in 2015 and started an opposing petition to defend the Jackson Monument, calling the board's decision disappointing and an act of shameless cowardice. Well, I'm not saying that there's not individual acts of racism because unfortunately there are evil and, and corrupt people wherever you go. Saying that the entire school and paying the entire school that way is an injustice to the school. 2015 VMI grad Kwan Kanhansuk, originally from Thailand, says he's sad to hear that some of his fellow cadets felt victimized by racism, but he did not have the same experience. Keeping the statue or taking it down is is not going to make anything like different. Sanders is asking alumni to voice their concerns and pull their donations. But for these black cadets and alumni, they hope this is just the start. I hope and pray it's not sort of like um, appeasement, and I hope it's a true commitment to change. In Lexington, Lindsay Kennett, 10 News, working for you.